Hey guys, how you doing? It's John Paul Gates, aka John the Film Actor, and we're the second day of this easing of lockdown. And uh, I suppose uh, you have to guess where we are in London. Uh, a little bit different to where we were last time, but anyway, I'm with my uh, compadre, partner in crime here. Uh, crime being not the operative word, of course. Uh, Mr. Alan Colgrave. Um, Ex BBC and ex WTN cameraman, and uh, we're actually out uh, continuing a documentary that we started before the lockdown. Obviously, now we can actually travel, and according to Boris's um, uh, recommendation, that you're only allowed to now, uh, if you can't work from home, then you're allowed to travel and work. So, obviously as we're interviewing people, we can't work from home because it's impossible and impractical to do. And even though we started to do Zoom interviews or video conferencing interviews, it's it's difficult. It's difficult because you don't get the quality. So anyway, um, we're out where we started our first day. And I just wanted to ask you, Alan, about the, uh, just talking about the, I suppose, a day in the life of a cameraman uh, cinematographer particularly when we're talking about documentaries because obviously you go through a different process that I do uh, as a presenter primarily and obviously a producer director of this show uh, so I just wanted to talk to you about you know um, the camera that you use um, and uh, I suppose what's the difference with the camera that you're using and what maybe other DOPs and cameramen are using, so if you wouldn't mind commenting about uh, that. Well, there's a couple of uh, points there. It's a, it's a Panasonic camera. I can't remember the number, but it's a pretty basic one. It's a kind of broadcast quality camera. It's light and easy to use. Um, it does everything I want it to do, um, so that works quite well. Uh, the battery lasts about three or four hours, so things like that which are great to do uh, what it was like 20 years ago. Um, today we've had a problem and it's one of the reasons why we might, why we're most like packing up now is because the wind is very gusty. Now with a bit of low frequency cut we can get rid of a lot of the wind but some of the gusts were very strong. Um, I think we still got quite a few good interviews but as I say it's one of the problems you have to contend with and uh, we've been grabbing, well, not literally grabbing people off the street and just trying to get them to talk where we are. Not necessarily the ideal position sometimes, but um, I think we've got some good uh, footage today. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the thing, you know, when you go out on the streets, it's, uh, obviously that's my, my, my style, um, sometimes you start off, you know, you start off badly and like with anything, you can't prejudge, you know, just because a person looks as though they would be appropriate for the topic chosen nine times out of ten they don't they don't want to do it and those people you think will not do it in a month of sundays they're actually quite uh, positive and uh, approachable so you can never tell in this business and but you know the great thing from our perspective and i'm sure you would agree alan is that you know you when you're out on the street doing box pops which you know we we specialize in you know you, you meet so many different people and you know for me as an actor and a filmmaker you know I, I like to uh, immerse myself into whatever culture or whatever situation I'm presented with and certainly you know by doing these documentaries it allows me to do that I mean what, what, what's your view do you have this sim a similar sort of experience and similar sort of uh, yes. motivation yes I mean um, you never know uh, how well, how good somebody will be um, in fact, one of the people we, uh, we talked to today uh, said she wasn't, uh, wasn't very good at interviews. It was absolutely superb. I think we'll most likely use one, between one and two minutes of her because uh, what she said was so good. Um, some people are not quite so good. Uh, some people, you know, say they uh, will answer the questions and actually don't really answer the questions at all. Um, you never really know. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I've been in um, certain places to news stories and come back with 15 different interviews in uh, 30 minutes. But that's unusual. Uh, this is more of a documentary, more in depth, and 
uh, it takes a little bit more thinking on the part of the, uh, the uh, person uh, we're talking to uh, to give their opinion. Um, most of the other one, uh, the things I've done in the past and news items, when it's really, what do you think about so-and-so, so-and-so, and they give their opinion and uh, we use 10 seconds of it. So it's a little bit different, but yes, it's, it's difficult to know what to do, what, who will speak and who will give us, as we can say, good value for money. So there you have it, guys. You know, the secrets of the documentary filmmakers. As I say, it's John Paul Gates, a.k.a. John the Film Actor. If you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do. Hit that button on the right-hand side. And if you want to follow me, uh, go onto my website, uh, johnpaulgates.com. I've got a Twitter page. I've got a Facebook page. I've got an Instagram page. And uh, I've got a Patreon account as well, where if you want to you know, subscribe to my career, you can do so for as little as £2 per month. Anyway, uh, enough said. Uh, so as the two Ronnies would say, it's uh, goodbye from me and it's uh, goodbye from him. All right, speak to you later, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.